Hello, day traders. Welcome to a day trade recap proudly presented by DTRtrading.com. Today, DTR caught a fantastic 45% win on NVIDIA puts. We entered the 225 puts on a bear flag breakdown at 360 and closed parts of our position at $4, 525, and 455, equaling a win of about 47%. This trade was alerted and live streamed for DTR members. You can catch trades like this live with me at dtrtrading.com. Enjoy. Okay, NVIDIA might give us another shot here, guys, right? NVIDIA might give us another shot, right? Good engulfing candle here on this bear flag breakdown. So we can get a breakdown under 228.75. Could definitely be interesting. Uh, this time I'll be looking at the 225 puts. So let's see if this thing can set up, like I said, under 228.75, 225 puts. Let's see if this thing can break. And I'm going about uh, two-thirds sizing here. Stop loss just above that 230. I think we've got room down towards that uh, 225, right? And then eventually that 223 area. So we got a lot of room down here. We can be pretty flexible waiting for this thing to set up if it's not perfect on this breakdown. Okay, watching closely here, right? Watching closely. All right, guys, I am in at uh, 362.6. Let's even keep getting some immediate follow through, but good shape right off this bell. Let's see if this thing can now give us that quick push, right? And give me that gas, gas. Let's go. So let's see if this thing can creep down towards that 10% target. I'm going to look to take some off at around $4 on these contracts. One third of my position, if that can happen. Right, if AMD is going to break down, that's going to be helpful for our uh, NVIDIA thesis. Let's see if it can happen, right? If you didn't catch that NVIDIA, you might have a chance with this AMD. Uh, good volume here, right? Giving you that full body candle. So maybe you have a, uh, a chance for a looker here. Atta boy, Magnus, let's go. Yeah, I, I'm not going to worry about AMD here, guys, right? I'm going to focus on NVIDIA. Uh, almost at my take profit here, right? There we go. Locked in a little bit at $4. Let's see if we can keep getting a little bit more follow through, but in really, really good shape here, right? In really, really good shape. Stop loss on my position here is going to be at 375. Let's even keep getting some follow through. But like I said, I think we're in really, really good shape. I've got two thirds of my initial position here left. Let's see if we can keep getting follow through. So with NVIDIA, right, let's see if we can keep getting a little bit of follow through as we approach, say that, uh, I don't know, uh, break down under 226, right, or approach that 226.50, I'm going to look to take a little bit more off and, and then have, you know, about half of my original position left and, and hopefully be protecting like a 20, 25% win. Uh, that would be best case scenario. So let's see if this thing can, hap can keep happening, but we're in really good shape here on this NVIDIA stop loss at 375 turning into a really, really nice little play. That being said, right, we seem to have survived that first little breakdown here in this NVIDIA, right, or that first little pullback. Let's see if we can keep going, right? I'm going to take a little bit more off as we approach that 226.50. Like I said, uh, I'm going to have about half of my original position left. And let's see if we can keep getting some follow through, but really, really nice trade. Hopefully a bunch of you guys are in this and banking as well. So guys, there we go. I locked in a little bit of profit here at that 455, right? Uh, now I've got about a few contracts left. Let's see if we can keep getting some follow through down towards that 225, then 223. But guys, let's go, right? What a nice little play here. No reason to uh, get too greedy, right? No reason to, uh, to overwhelm ourselves. Stop loss for me is going to be at uh, four bucks here on these contracts, right? Approximately 10% below whatever the bid is and then just keep running this down but let's go guys let's go what a trade happy happy days right just stacking up those wins two for three but i mean almost two percent day here now so really nice to, to get a little bit of follow through today nice work magnus yeah leave a couple runners right because we still have so much potential here i think right so we don't have that much bullish support Right, this could get really, really nasty here on NVIDIA if it wants to give us that follow through. But let's not get too greedy, right? And assume it's going to run a million miles. You know, uh, that's not our style, right? That's not how we make our bread and butter. 
But if we can creep up, I mean, guys, we're almost, you know, creeping up towards 50%, right? So, you know, never going to complain about that, right? Happy to keep stacking them up, but uh, love to hear it, guys. Love to see the improvement from everyone's trading. Love to see everyone locking in wins. Makes me so happy. Honestly, makes me so happy. So let's keep stacking them up, guys, right? We're thriving while this market is not. Love that, but let's not get too arrogant. Let's not get too greedy. Let's not change our process, right? Let's not do things that are now unfamiliar, we're going to keep stacking up wins. We're going to keep going after the things that we know work, right? Or that we have our, our edge in. And we're just going to keep applying the DTR advantage to that. So congratulations to everyone who caught this, right? Now creeping up towards that 50%. So fantastic win, right? Fantastic win. Let's see if we can keep getting some follow through. As I just got stopped out of NVIDIA, um, I got stopped out protecting at 445. So I just want to be very clear about something here, right? Um, we were happy to compromise on the volume, right? On this uh, breakout volume here, right? This 1010 on this NVIDIA, that it wasn't uh, above average, right? And, and the reason we're willing to do that is because this run up, right? We were having that really strong, sorry, we weren't having very strong volume here, right? So we were getting good, right? Bearish continuation, right? Good bearish candle, Right, but we weren't uh, that volume standard here so far. Right, wasn't above average. So when we got any real sign of increasing volume, right, we knew that one side had given up, and that we had the the other side right that we were in. All we had was evidence here of, of there being sellers. So one side given up, low volume, full body bearish candle. Right, tells us that bears are in control. That's why we jumped in, and why we sized down because it wasn't a uh, perfect candle. So it, does that make sense? Right, so. Um, on this BABA, right, this volume bar here on this five min, it, it's not creeping up towards that average, not increasing. So for me, right, it, it's not showing us that relative sign of strength or, or kind of comparative strength on the daily time frame, right? Still that kind of same logic as that NVIDIA, right? But uh, daily or sorry, that five min volume bar that we're, that you're looking at there, Zach, just isn't uh, relatively strong enough or it isn't really giving me that's that sign within context uh, of it being relatively strong this volume bar right when we broke down right within context looked really strong still greater than any sort of green volume we had all day right and then kind of pattern breakdown level breakdown right so just a lot of pieces of information there that stacked up if that makes sense